Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Pokemon Sun and Moon. It looks like Game Freak has released the download size of Pokemon Sun and Moon, and it's going to be 3.2 gigabytes or 26,214 blocks of space to download the games themselves. Now that is quite huge, especially in comparison to a lot of other games on the 3DS, so you're going to want to have a big SD card if you're going to be downloading the games. If you're getting the physical version, then it's not as big of a deal, but for comparison, and this comes from Cerebi.net, Red, Blue, and Yellow was 11 megabytes, X and Y was 1.7 gigabytes, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire was 1.8 gigabytes, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon was 1.8 gigabytes as well, Detective Pikachu was 641 megabytes, and Smash Bros. 3DS is 2.1 gigabytes, meaning that Sun and Moon is approximately twice the size of X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This is a huge game. Now granted, most of that might be coming from the fact that this game has received a graphical overhaul in comparison to X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because we're not going with the chibi look anymore. That's a much more realistic look. There's a lot more graphical touches, such as your trainer appearing in battles, so that might add to it as well. But it could also mean that the game is a lot bigger in total. Now in addition, there is one more bit of news that we want to cover, although it doesn't have to do with the size of the game. Instead, it focuses on Team Skull. As discovered by the Elite Buzz on Twitter, the Japanese reveal trailer of Team Skull has a moment where they focus on Guzma in the wrecked building. But what we failed to notice before was that there's a chest near the young goose where a Zygarde cell can be found. This could heavily indicate what the end goal of Team Skull is, and that is to collect the Zygarde cells and have some plan to do with Zygarde, specifically his complete form if we had to guess. Which is a pretty huge deal to see what their focus is, especially since the Aether Foundation seems much more concerned with the Ultra Beasts. So it could be separated in such a way that Team Skull is all about Zygarde, while the Aether Foundation deals with the Ultra Beasts. It's an interesting way to split up the story of the teams, if this is the case. But what do you guys think of the appearance of these Zygarde cells? And what do you guys think of the size of the game in total? Let us know in the comments, and of course, stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon, including our upcoming analysis. I apologize for its lateness. I've been sick, and I'm still recovering from it. In fact, I'm still not feeling the best, but I will get to that as soon as possible and do a proper analysis on the latest Pokemon trailer. But you guys can enjoy that soon enough. Until next time, bye.